it's Eri. welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome welcome so in today's video i'm gonna be doing a full face of city color um there is a couple products that i did not use from city color just because when they sent me this package they didn't send me some of these items so don't mind if you guys notice that some of the product is not from city color if you guys have not followed me on instagram yet make sure you guys follow me i have two accounts i have my outfit of the day and my makeup account i will leave the name somewhere on the screen for you guys and the link will be in the description box like always if you guys don't know city color it's a really affordable brand they are also cruelty free which i know that it matters to so many people nowadays if you guys have already heard of them don't be afraid to check them out because their product have evolved so much over the years all right guys so i know that you guys just want to jump right into the video and see how i created this look so let's go ahead and jump right into the video so first thing first i want to try out this mask that they sent me this is their hydro lip mask it helps moisturize and soothe the lips so i'm gonna try this out for today it feels really nice on the lip it's not too thick it doesn't have a strong smell and the smell is not bothering me right now so i do like that okay so city color didn't send me a moisturizer for the face so i'm gonna go in with this one from elf it's also really affordable i'm trying to buy product and use product that is more affordable Every now and then, it's okay to splurge on something expensive, but I'm trying to do more of an affordable brand for you guys just because I feel like a lot of brands are really great at the drugstore and a lot of brands that is affordable, it's also really good. I also like to add the moisturizer to my neck as well. Moving on to primer, I'm using this one they sent to me. This is their City Color Classic Primer. It's also paraben free and it's also a matte finish. If you guys have oily skin, this primer will do just fine for you guys. My skin, it's more on the combination side. Mostly dry, but I do have some air that it's oily. I'm going to use this for the whole face to see how it does for more of a combination skin as well. So this primer, I feel like it's more on the thicker side. Um, It also helps smooth out the pores and your fine line a little bit as well. Alright, so I'm done with the primer and I'm going to go ahead and jump to brows. They also sent out their Be Bold Pomade. I'm using the shade dark brown today just because my hair is black so I want to use much more of a darker shade the beautiful brush set that they sent me it came with almost every brush for the face but the only brush they don't have is for the eyebrows so I'm gonna use my own okay so I'll zoom in for you guys just so you guys could see a little bit better but my brows I have not plucked them or waxed them in I don't know how long me I'm not a hairy person so when I don't pluck my brows you can't really tell but you'll see like a couple hair here and there which is not bad but I have not plucked my eyebrows for I want to say a couple weeks now but don't mind that hopefully you guys can be seen on camera <laughs> I'm just working with it very lightly just so when I blend out, it won't be too hard to blend out. I also don't want my brows to be too dark. Okay, now I'm done with this side. I'm going to go finish this side off camera and I'm also going to fix it with concealer. For eyeshadow today, I'm thinking about using this palette right here. This is their City Color Beauty Novel Pigment Palette. This is their uh, Spring Edition. These are basically the shades in the palette. You have so many shades to choose from. And I like the fact that each line is dedicated to its own color shade almost like for example this one right here they're all browns but more of a light browns this one's more of a darker browns and then move on to the purples and then greens pinks and then blues so you could do so many look using this palette i think i'm gonna go in with the green today just because my shirt has a little pop of green in it using the oval shadow brush i'm gonna go into the shade called garden and i like to just pack on my eyeshadow just until i get it to the shade i like before I blend it out and then I'm going into this fluffy crease brush just to blend out the edges on this screen 
I'm going to try out this brush cleanser that they also sent me. This is the City Color Brush Cleanser. It helps clean and condition. You don't need to rinse the brush at all. Since my brush already had the color green on it, I want to use a different shade. I want to see how it does. Okay, so that brush cleaner did a great job. The only thing is that the green did kind of stain my brush. But when I go over my brush, there's no product on it. I also like the smell of it. It smells... It smells like really fruity, but also really refreshing, so I like to smell this. Going into this shade right here, it's called Leaf. It's almost like a turquoise, and I'm going to use this shade for the outer corner. Going back in with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend this shade out as well. And I'm going to use this shade to go over the top part just to blend all that together and blend it out. I'm just going to go in and cut the crease using lotion and my Q-tips. I'm just going to go into this concealer right here. This one is from Elle Cosmetics. This is their 16-hour camel concealer in light beige. Using this firm eyeshadow brush, I'm going into the shade called Sham Rock. So the color payoff is not really coming through. I'm going to try it with my finger and see how it does. See, you know, the color, it's really beautiful. Like, it's just like a lime green. But it's not coming through with the brush. So I'm going to try my finger. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely way better with your finger. I'm also going to go back in with the brush just so I can fix the top part. I'm just going to go ahead and blend out this part right here so it won't look so harsh. This is usually how I do my cut crease. Going into this beautiful shade right here. This shade is called Flourish. So this one I'm just going to place it right next to the first shimmer shade and blend it with the green on the outer part. And once again, it's not that pigmented with just a dry brush. So I'm going to slowly work my way there. I'm just going to use this liquid fairy light in the shade Sun Ray from Pixie. I'm just going to put this on top of the crease to make it pop a little bit more. Just because I felt like it's too simple. Okay, so I'm already done with this side. I did exactly the same. And now I'm going to go in with the mascara that they sent me. They sent me this one. It's for your top lash. And then they also sent me this one. It's for your lower lash. You guys know that I don't wear mascara just because my lashes is really short. But I'm going to try them out today and let you guys know what I think. Right away, I could tell it doesn't clump up. And it's actually adding some length to my lashes, surprisingly. Not too much, just because my lashes is short. So I forgot to go in with this brow gel that they sent me. This is their Be Bold Brow Gel. But I'm going to go in with this affordable foundation for Maybelline. So I'm basically mixing these two shades together just because I'm not too dark, not too light. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's usually where I do a lot of my announcement. Like, whatever is going on in my life, I usually let you guys know on there. Uh, make sure you follow me on my Instagram because it's where I usually give you guys updates on my life and what's going on. Okay guys, so this foundation, it's normally not dry. But this one, once I blend it out, it's just completely matte. I think it's literally this primer right here because it's a matte finish primer so i think it kind of just made my foundation matte so if you guys have oily skin i recommend you guys try this one out i'm just gonna go ahead and cream contour the face and i'm using this one from smashbox and i know that's pretty pricey but i really like this one just because it's easy to blend out and easy to work with Okay, so I'm going in with this brush right here. This is their Flat Butter Brush. And I'm going to use this one to blend out my contour just to see how it works. And I feel like it will do a great job just because it's kind of slanted. So it goes right here perfectly on the cheekbone. It's doing a great job. Even on the nose area, this brush is pretty big, but it's doing a great job. I'm 
just gonna blend out my concealer. I forgot to show you guys, but I'm basically using this one from e.l.f. This is their satin finish concealer in the shade light beige. Okay, so to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with this banana powder from them as well. This is their banana powder. It's also matte finish. I'm going in with this pointed powder brush from them. Okay, so it set really nicely. I was kind of scared because it's matte. But I think that as long as you don't bake it with the sponge, if you have dry skin like me, then you should be fine. I'm not going to set the rest of the face just because my foundation kind of just dried matte. So setting it will make it super matte and I don't want that for my skin type. I'm going to use this one from No Cosmetic. I've been loving this one as well. And going back in with the same brush that I used to set the inner eyes. Going in with this brush right here, I'm just going to use this one to control the nose. So for highlighter today, I'm going to be using one of these. These are basically their sunlit loose highlighter. The first one I have on this side, it's called Phoenix. And then the other side, it's called Nile. This one, it's more of a pearl, which I don't know which one will look better, but I'm going to try this one. So I'm working really lightly with these products because normally loose highlighter, they're really pigmented. So this one, it's really nice. I could tell that it's going to be super blinding, but I'm carefully working with it, so I'm just applying very little at a time. Now I'm going to this Cheek Me Out palette right here. I'm going to be using this one for blush. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that there was a bronzer shade in here. I could have used that uh, for this look, but next time. I think for blush, I'm going to be using this angle brush from them, and I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. For the bottom eyes, I think I'm going to be going into this beautiful shade up here. It's called Earth. So they sent me three pair of their lashes, but today I'm going to be using this one in the style Cleopatra. This is basically what it looks like. Super beautiful. It's so flattering on the eyes and I have to trim a little bit on the outer corner because it was too long for my eye shape. I also want to try this lower lash mascara and guys I have no lashes on the bottom at all but I'm gonna try it out. Like when I see girls wear mascara on the bottom and their lashes so long and pretty like I'm just so freaking jealous. I do like this one how it grips onto your lashes so if you have longer lashes you might like this product. I just don't know because my lashes is short. Okay, so for lip, I'm going to go into this lip liner. This is from Bella Pierre in the shade Nude. Oh, um, I wasn't expecting this shade to be super pink. It's kind of like a light pink. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm just going to go into this lip liner from Ofra in the shade Wine. For lipstick, I'm going into this one from Morphe. This is in the shade Commit. I'm going back in with the lip liner just to fix up the lip. To finish this look, I'm going to set the makeup with this Oil Control Matte Setting Spray. I'm kind of scared because you guys already know my skin is dry. Um, it's a like oil control, so it's gonna make my face super dry, but let's try it out. I'm nervous. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Make sure if you reach the end, make sure you leave in the comment down below which of the product that I used today is your favorite. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye guys.